Hi, it's Tom here from Foam Data Services, and today we are finally going to be looking at this. As you can see, Orange Modworks have finally delivered on their promises for the Retaliator Stage 3 performance kit, and we have this rather smart barrel extension on here, and uh, this unscrews, and behind this is the sealed breech. Now, I don't do unboxings, I'm not going to show you what the packaging looks like or any of that stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this so you can see there's the seal breech on the end and I'm going to test this with the five kilo spring in to begin with. You get a seven kilogram spring in the kit so with the Orange Modworks usual underestimation that's probably about an eight kilo total draw and I'm hoping that with the five kilo spring in when we test this we should get some decent ranges out of the stage two modifications. I have had a bit of a play with this and so far it's sounding pretty good. It's sounding like the air seal is much better in this area and you can clearly see from the internals when I put it in that um, it's quite a good design. And um, There is a little stiffness in the four prime when you get to about here. That's the second uh, dart door. It's quite stiff. And uh, with the five kilo spring and the barrel attachment you do get darts not quite come out the barrel sometimes. Um, those were old darts I tested with so we don't know what, I don't know what they're going to be like with the new darts. So with that in mind, I have a pack of brand new darts here. Now I recognise this is not ideal for a 50 dart shoot as there's some going to go through twice, but it's the best I can afford to do at the moment. And then uh, when we've done this test, I'll put the seven kilogram spring in and obviously I'll test the barrel with the five kilo and then I'll test the seven kilo without the barrel and the seven kilo with the barrel as well as we're going to do for this five kilo test. Okay, there's the empty box from uh, the darts and the darts are loaded into the blast. I'm going to get stuck in to the five kilo test. So here we have five kilogram spring, seal breech, stage two solid kit and the stage one solid kit too is in there. So that's the full stack but at five kilograms. Okay, so that's the five kilo test without the barrel, and I'm gonna put the barrel back on and reload, and then we'll start the next test. Okay, ready to go with the barrel attached, and let's see what we get. See the problem with this, that with the five kilo spring, struggling to use the air volume is so small, that with the extended barrel, um, you're just not getting the air velocity to clear the, clear the barrel each time. So I'll keep going just for the sake of getting some figures, but they're going to be up and down a little bit, I think. Squib. I see why they changed up to a seven kilo spring. Out of that first two mags, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight darts that didn't leave the barrel on the five kilo spring. So there you go. Don't use the barrel attachment with a five k spring. It really doesn't help you. In fact, you're going to get derps. Okay, so you can see there are some issues with the 5K spring and the uh, barrel extension. And uh, I'm not at all surprised by this really. You're looking at a relatively small plunger volume in this blaster and that's a fairly long-ish barrel. And uh, we'll see what it's like with the seven kilo. Looking at the darts, they have definitely gone off after those two tests. So I wouldn't say that it'll be a fair comparison without new darts. I'm gonna go out and get some new darts and then we'll run the seven kilo spring without the barrel extension, and then we'll run the seven kilo with the barrel extension. Now I did score a couple of high 111s, 112s, and I did see a 1, 2, 120 something in the mix on that last round. So it can shoot pretty good with the barrel, but I think it's very dependent on the dart and whereabouts the dart ends up in the breech. 
and I'm still not convinced that the bolt in the uh, orange modworks kit isn't isn't still not a very good dart fit. Obviously, we've improved the air seal by putting this complete sealed front end on, but I'm still not convinced by the uh, sizes of the orange modworks. Okay, I've now put the 7 kg spring in here, so it's all loaded up and ready to rock and roll. And uh, everything else is exactly the same as in the 5 kg test. I will start with the barrel off. I also have a brand new box of elite darts that I didn't use this morning, so I'll open those up again. And there you go. Those are now open, and I'll load them into my mags and then we'll start testing. Damn, that's hitting over the 120 mark consistently around the high 120s. So pretty close to the 130 feet per second we were promised. A 140. Another one forty. Another one forty, two one forties in a row. Okay, we're going with seven kilos with the barrel extension on. So we're going to see if this makes any kind of stacked gain. I don't think it will. Everybody thus far seems to be in agreement that this is going to do similar things for performance that any longer barrel does. But uh, we'll sh we shall see, and the figures will not lie, hopefully, if we can get darts to come out the barrel this time. Not so good. Really, that's four, shot, uh, four shots, three derps. What a surprise, another squib. Finally, we shot a dart. Another squib. Just to give you a heads up, that last dart went about as fast as a stock one. Ouch. Another derp, this isn't very good orange mod work, so I'm sorry. Unacceptable level of derpiness out of this barrel extension. Although I did clock a 138 a couple of darts back. Really, I'm struggling here to get enough shots to actually measure the performance of this, or non-performance. And these are brand new darts. Okay, so I shot 30 darts and I got less than 20 shots out of that. And out of those 20 shots, at least four were under 80 feet per second. What a surprise. First shot out of a new clip is a squib. Oh, second shot is a squib. 
third shot, 39 feet per second. Nice. Oh, another squid. Another dirt. 25 feet per second. Thirty five again. Didn't even reach the graph. Now I've noticed something interesting in here, having got this far through the test, in that inside where the dart tooth used to be, the little doors, there are two that are meant to force the dart back into the breach. Only one of them is currently deployed. So I'm going to go open this up and I'm going to go see whether there's anything permanently wrong with that. And then I'll come back and finish the test. I think I've only shot about 40 shots. So it may be that there's been a failure inside the sealed breach. We'll go and explore that in a minute. Okay, so we're three quarters of the way through the barrel test and um, with the seven kilo spring. And I've come across a problem which may have been going on for a little while and I just didn't think to look. Uh, and the number of derps caused me to have a good look. Now we've done about 220 rounds out of this so far. And what I've discovered is that it's going to be hard to see. I'll come over to the camera and just see if the camera can pick it up, but I doubt it will. There we go. Just in there are the two dart doors. So what's going wrong with those two dart doors is that the second dart door, which is on this side of the blaster, which forms part of the air sealing system and pushes the dart into the breech, is staying in the shut position. So if you imagine only having half a dart tooth working or your dart tooth not fully going up so that the dart's not pushed fully back into the breech. That is why I think we're getting inconsistency up this blaster now, is because that part has failed. It is now stuck. Uh, you can unstick it, but it sticks probably one shot in three at least. So I should be contacting Orange Modworks customer service about this. I'll be sending my sealed breech back um, because that's unacceptable. I don't want something that's going to just jam all the time and fail to fire. So I'm not particularly pleased. I'm going to see if we can get it to shoot again. I've very carefully cleaned it with a, a little bit of um, cotton wool and made sure that there's no gunk in there or there's no dart debris or anything within the jam door that might, co uh, sorry, within the dart um, doors that might cause a problem. So that has been cleaned. I've put a little bit of rubber safe silicon grease in there. In fact, it's Orange Modworks' own silicon grease that they supplied with the last kit. So let's see what happens. So here's my conclusion on the Orange Modworks uh, Stage 3 Retaliator Solid Kit. And my conclusion is don't buy this, it's a waste of money. I'm really annoyed about this kit, it took a long time to arrive. What should have been a really good fun thing, and I have to say this barrel extension, beautiful design, a uh, little front heavy because it's quite weighty but it works fine with the stock. Uh, it's really pretty to look at, looks really smart. It's dark grey, it's not black, I like the accents. Um, what should have been a really cool piece of kit, completely spoiled by poor manufacturing tolerances. So unfortunately, uh, mine is going back, and uh, anyone else who has these problems, I would advise you to get straight in contact with Orange Modworks, and please do feel free to post a comment if you've had a problem with your Stage 3 kit. Um, America, yours are coming online shortly, you should be receiving them in the next few days. Make sure that your dart gate operates properly. I'll open this one up in a second, I'll show you guys what I mean. Right, so there's the bolt backwards. See, taking the bolt backwards, and again, this bit stuck. 